Be sure to check out RCT Cassie, winner of the RCT Free Tosso Quiz of 2015 and enter the Toxic Competition for 2016. Hello and welcome to uh, episode 13 of Let's Evolve the Ultimate Theme Park 2016. So I started actually just by adding some more details to our mass fusion building. Yes, I got a logo with a decent background and now the building is actually something out of Fallout. And then up top, it's got, I know the building has a bunch of text on the top that says the same thing. So after experimenting with a few build walls, I added it up and then for, hmm, that top's looking a bit bare. Now I was actually looking at some pictures and there are some kind of vents up there. So I decided to just add some like cooling ducts. I still haven't been able to find anything actually to put on the walls yet, which is kind of annoying. So I was thinking of in the hope of downloading this, I didn't know what it had, so I took a shot because it wasn't on custom scenery depot, but this didn't this set didn't have what I wanted, so I decided to just use it instead. Now here I decided to get rid of that interspin coaster, because actually someone commented that maybe I should avoid trying to do the same coaster types as last year. In my defense of that actually, uh, last year one was a BM hyper, this one's a BM sit down. Slight difference. Whatever. Either way, I'm not going to do an Interman anymore because I thought something that's way more stupid. Yeah, we're doing Wooden again. Back from 2014 and um, Fake Row. We are doing a Wooden Coaster and oh my god. The layout that I came up with is actually amazing. I was thinking of holding it off, holding off and doing the you know, whole episode dedicated to it, but I spent most of my episode doing this layout anyway, which I'm actually really pleased with. But naturally, any good coaster building process for me starts with a station, and this one I'm actually pretty pleased with. So I started out just by doing the platform as usual, and this time the supports and eco. I decided to use a lot of Station Junior's scaffolding sets, because I thought that would go very well with the wooden coaster. It did. So I wanted to use these catwalks, but they just didn't line up. So, in the end, I had to revert to using uh, Captain's Wooden Walkways, which actually fit quite well, rather amazingly. I wanted to use a double stair thing, but then I thought, actually, would the wooden 1H ramp fit? Yes, it did, thank God. So, I probably have a queue line going along the road or something. I do need to basically just stop procrastinating downtown. I actually find, I, but I can't find any sets of Diamond City. It sucks. Like, I really want to find the right kind of set, but there's nothing out there. So that's pretty annoying. I may have to, actually, I may reshape Diamond City slightly. But I'll see what I can do with that. But right here, uh, Station Union's random things, as per usual. This is sort of a similar process to last time, except last time I was actually building a proper coaster indoors. This one was to have a sort of outdoorsy station, because I, I've saw, I do quite like those, having, after I did one with uh, Vulcan, no, uh, Lotzul. God, I don't even know how to pronounce my own coaster names. But yeah, I, was, I thought actually about switching my texture to Jack X's wooden coaster things, but the, honestly, the textures in Station Jr. Jr.'s scaffolding are amazing. But yeah, here I was just doing more framework, and at this stage, I think I'd found the wooden posts. Yes, I had. Then I remember the rubble pieces at some point, having done my more cross beams. Then I found the rubble pieces and thought, actually, yeah, I could create like a barrier on the other side. So I got going on that, and actually, that actually worked a lot better than I was expecting. So there I decided to hop over to uh, MP's coal mine set. Although well, there was one wooden roof I thought about, steel roof I thought about using, didn't fit, which was too big. So I jumped back to uh, the steel coal mine set after using more stuff from uh, the scaffolding sets to build up a framework. Yeah, there's a lot of framework. I mean, it is a wooden coaster. So this time you are going to get a complete time-lapse build of this coaster and oh my god, this is going to take at least four episodes. Oh my days. But I do just need to just, once I, I just need to do the supports. Once I get going on them it'll be okay. The lift hill is going to be a bitch. But the rest of it is quite low. I'm going to probably do some weird shapes around, like with the supports, have lots of things sticking out. But yeah, this bit I'm actually quite pleased with because like it gives the impression of a roof but there's not actually a roof. So I'm quite proud of that actually. And then here is just uh, adding more brakes. Uh, obviously, I'm using the well, actually, I'm using a combination of Techno Dude's coaster essentials and also the uh, Jackie X's wooden coaster things. Both of those sets are really good ones. But actually, uh, I posted this in the comments on one on a video, quite, one of my comment quite recently. I can't remember exactly which episode it was. It might have been ten. But someone asked me about like custom scenery, 
by what some of the apocalypse things. As I said, Satan GG is apocalypse things, which actually didn't get used in this episode at all. But uh, I've been thinking, uh, end of the series, I think I will post down the links to all the custom scenery that I've used in this series. So yeah, here actually I had to start building up the area for this coaster because this is going to be going through all the swamp area that's south of Diamond City. And then I managed to get this by complete accident, which was an absolute joy. So I immediately go into the terra painting and then try to add a bit more to it. And naturally all the water started off. So did some more of that and then decided to leave that flat and then boom, I was happy. So actually, uh, ooh, I still need to build the fourth faction base. Again, Fallout fans will probably be able to tell what's missing. Uh, but anyway, you'll see. It will be home to another flat ride, along with Diamond City and the rest. So I was going to have my job going one way, but then I decided to send it the other way. Because I want to have a sort of two-stage drop thing. So it drops down, loop, shoots back up, overbank corner. This actually worked pretty... I actually got the shaping on this one pretty good. And then shoot back under the lift hill and then off into the swamp. So this is going to take up a lot of the highway, but it'll look pretty cool. So this is actually a this actually ended up being a pretty big coaster, and I think I may make this one the sort of centerpiece of this theme park because oh man, I was pleased with this layout in the end. But again, for like for those of you who, if anyone ever tries building wooden coasters, for the love of God, do not start with this one. You have to do completely your own supports. And it is, you, while you can make some amazing shapes of it, as you can see, uh, it, you have to completely do your own supports. It's complete custom. You are basically on your own. Like, I, if you're going to do wooden coast CTRs, I would start with something like Daz Matsy's uh, six-seater wooden coast. So that's a really good train, but at least you get your own supports. But like, if you want to do custom supports, start with the in-game track, and then, only when you feel good at it, move to this one. Like, I have not gone back from moving this one six. Like, once I've started using this one, I haven't gone back. I mean, for that, except for that one time I tried to do Orthodox, but that... Look where that got me. Actually, no, no. Uh, Orthodox was my last wooden coaster with a standard season, with a standard track. So here I realised that the coaster was slightly running out of speed, so I decided to start bringing it back towards uh, the station. And I almost thought it wasn't going to make it, but I reckon uh, it's got enough speed. Again, I did a similar tri technique with Faker in terms of speed regulation, which is basically keep it all nice and low. So it's low, but it's fast. So that was, I think, a problem that was really killing some of my previous wooden coasters, especially Orthodox, because that was very up and down. It wasn't very good at regulating its speed. Whereas now with Fakro and also, uh, I'd say somewhat with the wooden coaster in, in Media Ignis, uh, both of those, I think, were very good at keeping their speed. Faker in particular, I deliberately kept it low and fast. Yeah, that, actually that overbank, I did a, just a third camera test POV, like just that run through. So here actually I wasn't quite, I think, wasn't happy with the speed of that, so I decided to re-model it a bit. And just make that whole kind of overbank a bit lower. Then same shaping as before, and then drop it down. Actually, oh, this bit was a little bit annoying to support, which I, I did start on the supports now actually. But this bit was actually a bit annoying because like, I did it at a certain incline that doesn't quite match up to the grid. So I ended up doing sort of off, slightly off-grid wooden supports, which is a little bit awkward. Fortunately, the rest of it should be fine. I didn't use that piece to height a hell of a lot. So, actually, on the subject of just fun completely off offbeat, actually, um, there was one point, actually, I had a bit of like, a brainwave or something. I might make my own music for this one. Well, I've already have made one theme, but I may make something slightly better in terms of, like, a slightly different theme for this uh, series, possibly. But if I can pull it together, let me know if you guys want to see a mashup. But I've already got uh, a good Fallout 4 theme. Spoilers. Uh, I have the greatest remix ever. Like, literally. The remix I've, I have lined up for the final video. It's not going to feature in any of the episodes. The only time you'll see it is in the final video because it is literally one of the greatest eargasms ever. I said that on camera, didn't I? Oh god. Oh, I'm never near the end of it. But yeah, trust me, it's a good theme. It's a good remix. I'm not going to tell you who it's by. I don't want anyone getting spoilers. 
So here right now is just uh, building up more in supports and oh my goodness, this... Yeah, this was where things started to get irritating because I had to go off grid in order to get to fit. So I was pretty much forced into it. For two. Oh, the rest of Wind Coast should be easy. I, it's not like the first few times where I sort of didn't quite know what I was doing. The only problem is I haven't actually checked the stats on this one. I haven't actually checked how long it is, but uh, I imagine it's quite a long one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, um, depending on how this coaster turns out, uh, heads up. This may end up being my entry into the World Coast Token 3 Top 10 Coaster 2016. Which, by the way, you should enter if you haven't already. Or at least check out. Naturally, because this is the Top 10 Coasters of 2016, there is lots of time to get it done. So there's lots of time to build your coaster. It's open until the end of November, as per usual. But in the meantime, there's plenty of time to build your coaster and enter. I will enter. Naturally, my first rule is I never win. That's all. That's always my rule. My first rule of judging it. I can never win my own contest. That's just taking the piss and just abusing power. However, from what I've seen so far, there are some good, there are some okay entries this year. Unfortunately, so somehow our winner, Mr. RCT Cassie, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen entry yet. So, uh, for the record, no one has ever defend, no one has ever successfully defended my contest. Like, well, then again, yeah, no one's ever really entered twice in a row. But no one's ever successfully defended winning it. And from what I've seen from someone who posted those quite recently, uh, there could be some serious entries this year, and I may have found a potential... Well, I'm not going to say anything yet. But anyway, enter my contest, and I hope you like what I'm doing this coaster. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow, unless something goes catastrophically wrong. I'll probably get going on the support, or maybe not, maybe work on downtown. But anyway, bye-bye, and I'll be back. Yeah, I said that.